Hello, Aries and Cross Watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Welcome to Natural Healing Tarot. My name is Nina. I am the reader here on the channel. If you guys like the message, how I vibe, if you like how it resonates, find that it's helpful, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I upload messages daily. Also, if you guys would like to get entered into the drawing that I do here for a free personal reading every month, you are more than welcome to comment your astrological sign below to get entered into the drawing. And last but certainly not least, I pull a power thought card at the end of every reading. So if you guys are interested in that, if the message does resonate, feel free to stay until the end to check out the power thought card. So playful message conclusion. I feel like there's a message coming in, but what the message that's coming in is um, there's something that's about to begin. <clears throat> Conclusion can symbolize an ending, but it can also symbolize an ending making a way for a new beginning. We also have playful here in a mess in message. So what that tells me here, Aries, is. Um, I feel like there's going to be a new beginning coming in, a new opportunity, one that's a little bit more lighthearted, not so serious. So let's see here, Aries, what we can see for you for December 15th through the 31st. What does... Aries need to see. Mm -hmm. I definitely get the sense that you're mourning something. Okay, you're, there's been some betrayal, some heartache, a lot of complications in the past. I do also get the sense here with all the swords coming out here, Aries, that you think a lot about this situation. You have gone through a long, hard battle. This may have very well been the ending of a partnership that you had thought was a soulmate connection. Now, with the lovers in the upright, this still very well could be a soulmate, twin flame, spiritual union type of connection. But, Aries, understand that... These connections, these partnerships don't always come together in this lifetime, right? If there's lessons that you guys still have to learn before you can come together in this spiritual union, then you guys are just going to keep hurting each other in the process. There, it's either going to be you guys hurting each other or you guys hurting other people. It's unintentional, so don't think, oh, I'm just going around hurting people. But understand, sometimes when we learn lessons, it's the hard way. And sometimes we don't always make the right decisions. I feel like this person has been really destructive, um, really aggressive, really controlling. I feel like they've really changed your perspective on relationships in general. Mm. 
want to get some clarity here on the emperor in reverse the emperor in reverse is a very destructive very controlling very aggressive energy um all the fighting could have been why this ended so emperor in reverse spirit why is this emperor in reverse here for aries Like I said, the, we have the Empress and the Emperor in reverse. So this is definitely a spiritual union connection, but there's something tumultuous going on between you guys. Um, you're not able to get this together. Maybe go watch a couple videos on soulmate twin flame connections because sometimes this is exactly the type of energy that they would exude when mirroring each other. Get some clarity on this hanged man here. Give me some clarity on the hanged man. What's this change in perspective? This may very well be them. Could be you. Could be both of you. Need a change in perspective on relationships. Um, honestly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The wheel isn't going to start turning for this partnership. Until you guys go within. Until you go within and do some soul searching. Um, taking time to gain clarity on people, places, and things. Processing emotions. Um... Communication, setting boundaries. Really the beginning of getting these soulmate connections together is focusing on self. Having patience with the process of that partnership and focusing on self-love, self-care, self-healing. The self-discovery journey. So, <laughs> of course you did. As I say yes to life, life says yes to me. Yes. Life mirrors my every thought. As I keep my thoughts positive, life brings me only good experiences. Mirroring. Hmm. Interesting. I do want to do an extended reading on this here. Um... Aries, I'm going to take a look at your person. I want to take a little bit deeper look at their position um, in this whole mess. Um, what steps that they're taking, what they're what they're doing, what's going on in their world. And then I also want to take a look at what the outcome is going to be. I really get the sense here that there is a need for both of you to heal. Um, focusing on past pain, past hurt is not going to bring this connection together. And until you heal those hurts, that resentment will always be there. That's why there's a need to heal. Okay. So if you guys want to get on the extended reading link will be below in the description. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for all the love and support, liking and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.